So my next question, he said, hello, coachy. Then I have another question. My goal isn't quite 10 feet. So his basketball hoop isn't quite 10 feet and my rim is bent and sticking up slightly and my goal is leaning. Is it better to just work on ball handling or will shooting on my basket just mess up my shot? So I get this question so much. Like I, I probably get this question. I probably got this question five times in the last week. And, uh, you know, it, essentially it, there's, there's a couple different answers I'll give you. So for, for Jaden specifically, he said his rim was a little bit bent. So not not too bad not too far off 10 feet and at that point i was like you know what like just it's really not gonna be that big a deal for you um but i get a lot of questions from guys who are playing on a hoop that's nine feet eight and a half seven i have someone else who told me they only have a seven foot hoop um and so that that's a little bit different so if you're on a seven foot hoop like yeah that's not gonna be great like if you're shooting a seven foot hoop probably going to probably not going to help your shot all that much um you know Maybe you can try and circumvent that by like maybe sitting down and just working on form shooting from the ground. Maybe that would do something. But if you're actually doing moves into a seven foot hoop, probably not going to help you all that much. Um, also, depending on how old you are. So if you're younger, then maybe it won't be as big of a deal. But I would say, you know, if we're talking like eight foot or above. So your, your hoop is eight feet or taller. So, you know, if your hoop's like eight to nine feet tall, obviously good amount shorter than a 10 foot rim. Um, the thing with that is that it's not ideal, obviously, but if that's what you're working with, then you can go for it because it, as long as you have good mechanics, right, you don't have any weird side spin on the ball, your form is good, all those things, as long as you have that and you add it to, uh, you know, th th those moves and stuff you work on, when you get to an actual 10 foot, 10 foot rim, 10 foot hoop, the really the biggest, the biggest change you're going to have to make is just your arc. So, you know, that, that, that in itself isn't too difficult of a change. It's not as difficult as, you know, moving your, the set point of your jump shot or getting rid of a, of a, you know, your offhand being too active or any sort of a thing like that. Um, so if that's your, if that's your problem, like, you know, I have an eight foot, eight and a half, nine foot rim, that's not too big of a deal. So I, I would say to you, like, don't worry too much about that. Um, that's not too, it's not, not too much of a problem. Um, again, obviously if you have, if you have access to a park or anything like that, like go do that if you can. So obviously with the pandemic and the quarantine and everything like that, a lot of people are just stuck at home and all they have access to is, you know, a rim that's a little bit shorter. And, and, you know, my, my big thing always is like, just work with what you have. So if all you have is an eight and a half foot rim, work with it for now. Okay. Maybe, maybe you put a little bit more emphasis on your ball handling training on, you know, different things like that, where you don't need a basket. But at the same time, you can still get shots up, okay? And and obviously, again, not ideal. But the only the only real change you need to make when you get back to a gym is just readjusting to that ten foot rim, okay? So once you're able to do that, that really that muscle memory of you still having the same release, all that thing, that's gonna translate. It's just the arc you're gonna have to change, okay? So so it's not too big of a deal. Um, again, if that's if that's the only issue you have, then then continue to go with it and, and make the most of what you have right now. You know, I've had a lot of people say that, like, you know, they're able to get back into a gym, back to a park. And then, you know, it's kind of crazy because every day things are changing in terms of being able to go out and do this. Or, and then the next day, you know, your your city or your state closes or whatever, like things are changing by the day. Um, I would say, though, again, work with work the best with what you have and don't worry too much about it's got to be perfect. OK. It doesn't have to necessarily be perfect right now. It's really just more about um, the 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 little things. Especially, you know, I have a couple of guys in the perimeter score system right now, actually, who are working with smaller rims because they're at home. And the biggest thing for me is like, for you guys, you're not. It's it's not going to be as big a deal for you because you're still working on the actual space creation, the actual game situations you're going to be in, and you're going to be able to be effective in those as well. So if we're working on, you know getting, let's say we're working on our jab series or our, or our shimmy jab series, right? You're still going to have that move down, right? When we, when you get back to a gym that's, or a hoop that's 10 feet tall, whether it's a park or a gym, you're going to have that move down. You're going to still have the ability to, to create that space and get a shot off. All that you're going to have to change is your arc on it. It's going to be a little bit weird at first, but you're still going to have that. Okay. So, so don't, don't, don't throw everything out just because your, your hoop's a little bit shorter. Still work on those things. So that, that'd be another recommendation I give to you guys work on more game moves, more game situations into those jump shots. Okay. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't shoot a ton of, you know, spot up shots. That's fine. You can still work on those other things though. 
those that jab step we talked about the float dribble into you know a pull up or into a step back uh, a punch dribble into your shot okay that that's 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 so those are still things that those actual moves those actual sequences will translate to the game regardless of the size of the rim and then the finish obviously that'll be a little bit different but cross that bridge when you get to it okay for now do the best of what you have i want you guys right now go to the top link in my description and get my free elite perimeter score workout. We're gonna work on a bunch of different skills that you need to have if you wanna be an elite player in the perimeter. Make sure you guys check it out completely free. Click the link, I'll send it right to you.